If you only have to buy one trench coat from Cezanne for the almost year spring, which one would you choose? Scott? Clyde? They're very different in several aspects. So let's find out the main characteristics of each one. Maybe this deep review and try on can help you in your choice. Okay, the Scott trench coat. A loyal companion for two years now. This is the third year that I've got it. It's perfect for spring styling when the days get a little bit warmer, since it's made in 100% organic cotton. The Scott is one of Cezanne's core pieces, so it's always stocked on their website. It isn't a seasonal piece, meaning you can always get your hands on this if you would like it. It comes in this traditional light camel, which is the most classic option. But you could also opt to grab this trench coat in khaki and in a navy blue, a deep navy blue. Both very beautiful. This design especially has this urban feel and it has a feminine touch to the silhouette, being more body cinched. It's double breasted and it has a belt with large uh, belt loops. It has fitted shoulders with button tabs that it actually open. They are functional and it has this button tab also uh, in the, on the bottom of the sleeves. It has two side deep pockets and a beautiful lapel Color. very classic. At the back it has this beautiful and different detail with these buttons that uh, you can uh, open and close as you wish and this is going to affect the fluidity and movement of the trench as you move and walk and the wind blows. I think it's a really lovely unique detail and it shows the attention to detail that Cezanne so often put into their clothing. Another functional detail is this button in the middle of the belt at the back and this allows you to attach the belt itself to the coat, which means that when you're moving, if you have the trench coat opened, the belt isn't going to move. It's not going to gradually slide more to one side or another or even fall out of the coat with the risk of losing it. So the composition of this trench coat is 100% organic cotton and the lining itself is made in um, this lovely shiny silky beige color. It's always tonal with the color of the coat depending on which you choose. It's supposed to be dry cleaned only but last year I was uh, with this trench coat and I dropped some dark chocolate on the front part here and I just washed this part and it didn't ruin the fabric. It's perfect. In terms of length, it's just below the knee on me and I'm 5 foot 7. Size-wise, I went up a size to uh, European 40 or US 8, as I always do for all my coats and jackets. Also, if you are about my height or above, you need to size up as the sleeves will be too short. And in a trench coat, the sleeves aren't supposed to be 3 quarter lengths. Okay, I love this trench. It's classic, timeless style and I've been styling mine for two years now and I just love it. In fact, since I had it to my collection, it's the one I reach for the most. I think that's all I have to say about the Scott. I honestly can't find any faults in it. The only thing I noticed when I was looking kind of really closely is a couple of frayed hems uh, uh, in this part here, but something very minor. Overall, I think the craftsmanship, design and fabric, everything about this coat is really high quality and at a fair price. So I would definitely recommend this trench coat and I will leave link it down below. Let's move on to the Clyde trench coat, a design Cezanne had to their collection since only last year. At first only available in camel, but now you can choose from black, 
dark khaki, light beige e cru and of course the camel version. I ordered the Clyde trench coat in two colors because I haven't decided which color to reach for. The camel is the most beautiful in my opinion but since I have the Scott in camel already I wanted to go to another color and so I ordered in khaki and in light beige. If you like uh, the Clyde, you need to add it to your wish list like I did and as soon as it's available, you need to buy it or it will sell out in a blink of an eye. So let's grab this one. I think it's easier to see when the fabric is lighter. So the Clyde is an A-line oversized trench coat. This, yes, it's oversized with a classic shirt collar and middle front single button uh, fastening. It has raglan sleeves, it has no belt and no belt loops. It's supposed to be this boyfriend fit, more masculine style. It has this British countryside aesthetic, at least in my opinion. It has also deep comfortable pockets at the front and the lens it's longer than the Scott. The Scott it's more a midi trench coat and this one is 10 cm longer. So the lens it's mid calf on me which can be a bonus as it makes us look taller. At the back it also has a vent and the composition of all colors except the camel is 50% cotton and 50% viscose. The camel version is actually made in 100% cotton. Why? I don't know why they didn't uh, use the same 100% cotton for all colors but the fact is like that. It has this beautiful checked pattern lining. Really, really beautiful. The lining is made in 60% cotton and 40% polyester. So as you can see in general the quality of the fabrics has lowered in the Clyde compared to the Scott and the price has actually raised. Okay, as for the design, I'm convinced that this design was made to be worn with the sleeves rolled up to show the beautiful gorgeous lining. So I'm wearing size European 40, again same size as the Scott, US 8 and the sleeves are perfect on me. So the check lining is in my opinion a really beautiful detail. It gives these little pop of color to uh, otherwise a plain coat. Also the rolled up sleeves really get relaxed in its shape and give you that really nice fit. As I said it has no belt or belt loops as it's meant to be worn loose on the body and the slightly oversized fit allows you to wear thicker jumpers underneath if you want. And you reached the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy this review and styling options and that my thoughts about these trench coats could help you to know a little bit more about the Scott and the Clyde. They are quite different in style. They serve different purposes. So despite having already the Scott, I'm adding a Clyde for sure to my collection. I just don't know yet which color to go for, the light beige or the dark khaki. I love them both, of course I won't keep them both. So what do you think? Can you give me your honest opinion and help me decide which color do you uh, love the most? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon on my next one. Bye bye!